Hi, and welcome to Bremster Puzzles. I'm back to the World Puzzle Federation 2016 Round 3. These puzzles were all created by a single creator from the Czech Republic, which was Jakub Andrusek. And I've almost certainly got the pronunciation on that one wrong, and I really apologize. Um, this is the final classic Sudoku from this set, and this is a 49-point puzzle. So this is a jump to nearly double the difficulty according to um, the, uh, the point system of the previous classic Sudoku. So this one could be tricky. If you want a full breakdown of how the point system works, check out the first puzzle in this set, Classic Sudoku 1, where I go through a breakdown of how it all works. Um, of course, there'll be a link below to the where you can try this puzzle for yourself, as well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation archive. Let's go through the rules and then let's give the puzzle a try. So the rules are quite simple. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. That's the rules. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So I can see one is not able to be there. One is not able to be there. That's a four. One can't be there. So this is a one, which puts one in one of those two. One can't be in there or there because of the ones that are there. So one has to be in one of those two cells, which means one is down here somewhere. One can't be in those. So one is in one of those two. Not sure what that's doing. One is in one of those two cells. Mm. Two and two means two's not in those or there. So two is in one in that, which puts two in one of those two. Two is in one of those two. Two can't be in any of those. So two is in one of those two. Two is in one of those two. None of this is really doing much yet. That's a four right in the middle of the grid because four can't be in any of those or any of those. So seven is in one of those two, which means seven is in one of those two. So one, two, three, four, five. Eight has to be in one of those two because the eight that's in that box has to be in this column somewhere and the seven that's in this box. This is a six, seven. This six and seven has to go in this column somewhere. So this becomes six, seven. And the seven means this is the six and this is the seven. This has to be eight and nine. And the nine means this is the eight and this is the nine. Great. And these are one, three and five. The one is not here. The three is not here. Cool. And these, one, two, three, four, five, six, two, and nine. Not sure how to deal with that yet. Eight is in one of those two by those eights, but that eight says not there. That's the eight. Seven, yeah, I've looked at that. Two, three, four, five in this box. Not sure. Six. Six can't be in any of those because of that six and not there. So this is now the six, which puts six in one of those two. These are two, five, seven, and nine. So this is two, five, or nine. Right, the three, of course, means this isn't the three. That's a one five, that's a three. So there's no five there. This is only two or nine. And those are the same digit. And I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet. Three is in one of those two because of these. Nine. One is in one of those. Six is in one of those two. It's because of the sixes looking into the box. Okay, that digit. Can't be one, two, three, four. Could be five. Can't be six, seven, eight. This is only five or nine.
7 is in one of those two because of the 7s looking into box 3. 1 in this column is in one of those two. Oh, that's just a 1-5 pair. Can't put 1-5 in any of those cells. So this is a 1-5 pair. So this is a triple. 3, 6, 9. These are 3, 6, and 9. And 6 can't be in any of those. So that's the 6. This is a 3, 9. Which puts three in one of those two. So these two, four, seven, eight. So that, and that can't be two, seven, or eight. That's a four. And these are two, seven, and eight. That one can't be a seven. That one can't be a two. The four here lines up with the four here, putting four in one of those two. Four is not in any of those. Four is not in any of those or there. Four is in one of those two. That's not doing much. Or it could be doing a lot, but if it is, I am not seeing it yet. Well, this is a one five pair. So what, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So these are all 6, 7, 8, 9. I can't put 6 in either of those. So those are 7, 8, 9. And that's 6, 7, 8. It can't be 9. 5 is only in one of those two. that it can't be one, it can't be two, can't be three, four, five, can't be six, can't be seven or eight. That is a nine. So now that's a two, that's a nine, that's a three, that's a nine. The nine means that's a two, that's not a two. These are five, seven, and nine. That one's not a nine. That one I'm not sure about. So this is a pair. Where's the two in this row? Can't be there. That's the two. And that's the five. And this row, two. Well, where's the two in this row? Can't be in either of those. That's the two. And this is a seven, eight pair. So one, two, three, four. These are a four, nine pair. So these are one, two, three, eight. And the eight can't be there. So that's the three. That's the eight which means that's not an eight. Eight has to be in one of those two by Sudoku, and that eight says it's not there. So that's the eight. The three is looking down saying, that's not the three, that's the three. Hmm, still not collapsing, but that's okay. It's supposed to be tricky. I'm actually pretty happy with how I've gone on this one. The eight looks across saying that's not the eight. So eight is not in any of those or there. Eight is in one of those two. So what's this? This row is missing one, five, and seven. So this is only one or seven. And this is only one or five. So that's a one, five pair. That's a seven, meaning this is a six. The seven looks up making that the eight and that the seven. The eight looks down saying that's not the eight. That's the eight, meaning that's the five. And this has to be the one saying that's not the one. So that's the one. This is the only place for the six now. So this isn't the six. And this is three, four, five. There's no three there. There's no four there. I think that's it. Okay, what are these digits? I need to put a six in this row. Well, I'm not putting it there, so that's the six. And I need to put 
a five in this row. So that's the five, meaning that's the one, that's the five, that's the one. These are now a seven, nine pair, and the seven is looking down, making that the nine and that the seven. The nine looks up, meaning that's the four, that's the nine. This column, one, two, three, four, that's a five. Looking across, making that the seven, taking seven out of there. The five looks across, taking five out of there. This row is missing three, four, so this has to be three or four, and the three is looking up, making that the four, making that the three, that the five, that the four. The five is looking across, making that the nine and that the five. The one says that's not the one, that's the one. This is a triple, three, seven, and nine. The three says there's no three in any of those. So that's the three. The seven looks up making that the nine and that the seven. And this is my fastest solve of all of them. Even though this puzzle was apparently twice as hard as the previous ones. I don't understand. I've never understood competition puzzles. I really haven't. Now, it could be because we're using an online tool um, and this would be trickier if you were solving with pen and paper or it uses skills that are differently known or something. Maybe I just got lucky. Um, maybe I made a logical leap that I shouldn't have made. I don't know. Um, at a 49-point puzzle, doing getting five points a minute, um, would have put me in the top 50. So realistically, if I could solve every puzzle as fast as this one, I would have been in the top 50. And I don't care. <laughs> I'm just trying to give comparisons based on how the World Puzzle Federation works, because these are puzzles were created for competition purposes. And I understand that as a concept. Um, as I said, if anyone wants to try and compete with me for times, I, even if I'm faster, congratulations, you win. <laughs> That's how much I care about competition. But um, I know people are interested in understanding how that works. And therefore, I'm trying to present these in the light from which they're understood. Just because I'm not interested in competition doesn't mean that other people aren't. Um, yeah, really interesting stuff. I just, I'm very surprised that I solved this one, which was supposedly about twice as hard point value wise as the others, um, faster than any of the others. I know the first one, I went through a lot of detailed explanation and everything. Maybe that's it. Maybe I just spent less time explaining. Maybe that's a problem and this will be a worse video because of it. I don't know. You can let me know below. This is the last classic Sudoku in the set, I believe. So after this, I'm about to move on to the variants. Haven't seen which, I, I mean, I've seen, I set up all these puzzles months and months ago. I haven't actually looked through the list to see what variants are coming. So um, I'll be interested to find that one out. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoy the series. And as always, good luck with your solving.